Now, weeks after 17 uh, uh, military uh, personnel uh, were killed in an attack in the Kwame Delta State, Governor Sharif Oberiwari has uh, visited the community, promising the safe return of the indigenous who fled the community after the act. The governor, accompanied by some government officials, reiterated that innocent citizens would not be made to suffer for what they know nothing about. The commanding officer of 181 Army uh, Amphibious Battalion, two majors, one captain, and 13 soldiers were ambushed and killed in March, an attack which drew widespread outrage and condemnation. The letter man hunted and stretched from Delta State to Bielsa, with uh, several people declared wanted by the military. Now, Kwame, where the murders took place, has been inaccessible for weeks as the military and security operatives worked to fish out those behind the act. Imagine we are 17 army personnel were murdered. It's a process. It was five, five weeks ago. So it's, it's, a, it's a process. We are following the process. In that process, we are healing the wound. Because also, too, they are so very bitter. The army is so very bitter. So we will manage them. There's, there's always a blame. Uh, so you can see that even the, um, the, the king who actually went and uh, submitted himself to the police and later to the army, he has been released yesterday. So you can see part of the. the people will not know what's on ground, what we are between. What we just need to do, I have come here to see and to see how. The people, the innocent people can be repaired back to the completion of the unity. You know, it's very painful for this great loss. And, uh, you know, we have to follow the process. And that's what we are following. And, uh, you can see today, even the brigade commander came with us to this very place. The, the new posted, uh, uh, the commanding officer of 181, you know, the one was murdered. The new one, left that corner. Dabo is also here with us today. So you can see we have synergy between the government and the security agencies. Mr. President, the Chief of Army Staff, are sure that no innocent person will be victimized. So the process of relocating them back is on the second process. We are on it already. We are on it already. We will bring them back. We are, we are talking with the military. So it's not a day job. So we are working as a dosley. 